Well, I hope you're paying attention to this. This is going to be amazing. All right, we're in week two of 2023, 20, 24. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on. So first off, we can see assignments here that are coming up. We have one thing that's due at the end of this week. We've been doing all kinds of things this week. Um, and we have a couple things that are due on Monday. So let's take a look at this. First, I'm using weekly folders to nestle things in so things don't get too crazy weird. The project tracking sheet, which we use all the time, which is located right here. You can see this for second period, yay. And um, come back over here. That's always up here. Also our yearly schedule of what we're doing, what days is posted right here. So you can see it anytime you want. And then the weekly folders will be here, okay? Um, I'm working on week three down here, so just ignore that. You don't see it right now. Okay, professional portion rubric. We're working on this all year long. And there's our course outline syllabus. Okay, so what are we doing this week? Let's go into week two and take a look. So the overview video is what you're watching right now. And you click here, you'll see it, or it'll be embedded, you know, whatever. Uh, Creative Commons, we're learning about that, how to get intellectual property and use it properly. So this is a nice overview video, a couple minutes long. You're creating a slideshow and you've been working on this all week. It is due at the end of the week, but technically I'm giving you through the weekend if you wanted to add a little bit more to it. So it'll be due Sunday night at five o'clock. And you can see that right here. Woo! You don't have to work on it this weekend. You have plenty of class time to work on it. So no worries. I want you to make, <clears throat> uh, make and share an Edublogs account. This is due Monday, but I want people to try doing it now. So you can do it during class time, you can do it at home, but we need this Monday, so I wanna show you that. But let's take a look at the slideshow project. So in here, if I just do a quick scroll, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff in here. So your first thing to do if you're confused about what's going on in class is take a look at these steps. Just know I spent quite a bit of time writing out the what, the why, and the how. So under the how, there's verbs and statements showing you what to do, so watch. Brain write, brainstorm, you know, storyboard, and you know, pitch, practice, and, and get feedback. Copy the link from our slideshow thing, which is right here uh, from the project tracking sheet. And let me give you the modern version of it. It's right there, okay? And I'm gonna write slideshow here. And check this out. If I drag these all the way down, now people can put that stuff in there, okay? And your stuff's over here. And if it's not, I'll update that. Okay. Um, we have this. And th there's more stuff. Review the theme builder. Build the slides. And how to use the Creative Commons to get images. This is a video tutorial. It's about five minutes long to show you that, uh, to review that. And then quality. So if you have all the stuff of the what section right here in your presentation, you get full credit. And I don't grade. I grade process. So. When you look and read these statements, black background with white font, yes or no? I mean, do you have that? Now, if you do more than just white fonts, that's fine, but I want you to stick to one font. We talked about that in class. At least a few image, you can use your own images or Creative Commons. I do want you to have at least one image from the Creative Commons properly cited on your works cited page, so I know that you know how to do that. I want you to make at least one attempt to do two plus two from Andrew Stanton. That was where you have an image on the screen and you say something else, and the audience has to make meaning between the two things. And I use the example of a picture of a cat, and I say the word snuggles. You then assume that the cat's my pet snuggles. So that's the kind of thing of making your audience work for their meal, as Andrew Stanton said. The more you do that, the more interactive things are. We have one thing per slide, either a picture or a word or a small phrase, and it moves quickly. People will pay attention if there's action. So we want visual movement throughout the slideshow. All right. So that's what we're doing this week. And again, that's here. And you are putting a link to your slideshow here. And um, you are in the Edublogs project. You're going to watch this tutorial on how to make an account at Edublogs. It's pretty straightforward. Email me your uh, blog address and also place it up here. And uh, I'll just put the word blog here. And you're gonna turn this word into a link. And somebody had asked me a couple days ago, how do you do a link in a spreadsheet? You highlight the word and you come up here and you click on the link icon here and then you paste the address right there. Okay, and your address will be something.edublogs.org. The something is whatever you create for your unique blog address. All right, that summarizes everything. Have a great one.